Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Uh, over the weekend, I received a text from Philip Maxwell that was a picture of an excerpt from Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read or listened to the book, you probably should uh, at least a dozen times. I know I have. That's uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's one of the most iconic books in business today. Um, take the time to read or listen to it immediately. Um, the quote that Philip sent me said this, both success and failure, both success and failure are largely the results of habits. <sighs> yeah, that's just true. Sometimes I don't like it, but it is just true. Both success and failure are largely the results of habits. What separates people? Well, we're talking about residential real estate now, right? What separates agents? Why are some making tons of money, selling lots of homes, living this, you know, just everything's going right for them, and others are really struggling? What's the difference? What separates them? Uh, their daily habits. I can promise you this. It's what changed in my life. I've told all of you the story probably more times than you care to hear it. You can call it an old man story if you want to. But there was a time very early on in my real estate business when I wasn't doing very well. I wasn't selling very many homes. I had lots of bills and didn't have the money to pay them. And this business sucked. It did suck. And then things changed. What, ch what changed? Uh, mostly me, uh, my daily habits. Once I made a decision to start running my business like a business, when I started making a decision to manage my life, my habits changed and everything else followed. If these things are not where you want them in any way, in any area of your life, if they're not where you want them to be, it's not a mystery. It's not. You shouldn't walk around wondering why I don't understand. I'm so frustrated. What's going on? I would just say this to you. Take a hard look. Take a hard, honest look at your habits. Is your health where you want it to be? Take a hard look at your daily exercise habits. What's that look like? Uh, how about your weight? Is your weight where you want it to be? Take a look at what you're putting in your body every day. How about alcohol and drugs, which is a huge problem in this country today? Uh, what is your relationship to alcohol and drugs? What are your habits? Probably better said. Do, have you fallen into a habit where you drink alcohol at a certain time and a certain amount every day? That's a habit. If you do this, then alcohol's involved. Can you go out and have a good time without alcohol and drugs being involved in that? Or is it a habit now? Uh, are your relationships your personal relationships in your life, are, you, are they where you want them to be? And if you're not totally satisfied in that area, then I might encourage you to look at the habits that we get into every day, the routines. Money. I bet you were wondering when I was going to get around to that, huh? All right, money. Is your money, have you gotten your money right? Is it where you want it to be? If it isn't, then look at your habits. It could be habits from, look what you're doing with your business every day. What habits are you in? What time do you get up? What time do you start your business day? What do you get done during the day? And how do you conduct yourself? What do those habits look like? Take a look at it on the consumption side. What are you habitually spending money on? Are you habitually saving or are you habitually spending? How about your faith? What kind of habits have you formed around your faith? If you don't like the answers to some of this stuff, it's okay. 
it's okay and it's okay because you can change it you can change any part of it or all of it the instant you want to I did how did I go from a pretty mediocre low-income real estate agent to the number one real estate agent in the world uh, is real simple folks I didn't get smart overnight <laughs> I didn't go to bed a dumbass and wake up the next morning highly motivated and inspired I did not what did I do I just simply changed my habits all the habits that I had we all have habits you do none of us are habit free it's just for most of us these habits aren't empowering they're unempowering they bring us down they leave us with a life that we're dissatisfied with and for the very few they just change that they just start changing their daily patterns you want things to change in your life I'm gonna encourage you to take a hard look at your daily habits and interrupt the pattern look if it's not working for you then maybe your way of doing it isn't the right way this goes across a wide range of things I know many of you listening to the sound of my voice right now want to work from home today because it's so much more convenient but if it's not working for you then change the habit interrupt the pattern maybe your way of doing it isn't the right way try it my way for a while see how it works how are you conducting yourself are you happy with the results you can change anything you want folks right now interrupt the pattern establish new habits you can decide to do that today will it be easy of course it won't be easy that's stupid of course it won't be easy it'll be hard but what in this world worth having was easy it's all hard I guess you get to go out and choose your heart I want to thank Philip for sending me that text and reminding me of something that's just a powerful truth in all of our lives that at any point you and I can choose to go out and make it happen for ourselves today